It is important to explore the Highland website before you start classes here at Highland Community College. Under the Academics tab, there's a lot of helpful information you can use to help choose the right courses. For example, if you click on Degree Programs, it will take you to a page that lists all the degrees we offer. If you click on a specific degree you are interested in, it will pull up each degree offered in that category. If you find what you are looking for and want to see the suggested program of study, click this link and it will bring up an overview of classes and credit hours you will need to complete this degree. Another helpful link is the course descriptions and syllabi. This will show you the course description and syllabi for each class so you can determine whether you'd be interested in taking it or if you have already enrolled in it, you can read the description and syllabi to see what you will be learning. For example, if I was taking Document Processing 1, I could click on the syllabus or the locations and class schedule. The syllabus will appear in PDF format which you can print out or save and it will list the department, course description, course competencies, course content, learning assignments, and instructional materials. If you are interested in planning out your entire degree, go to Degree Planning Sheets. Choose which degree you would like, and it will bring a PDF of all credits you must complete in order to graduate with this degree. This is very helpful to have when you are with your advisor and when you are planning out each semester. If you are planning to transfer to a four-year school or other college after Highland, go to the Transfer Guides link. This will give you important information to ensure a smooth transfer to another institution. We have also listed many universities in the area and common colleges that people usually transfer to, which you can click on and view what classes transfer and what classes will not. For example, if you were going to Kansas State University, you just click the link and this will show you our classes compared to theirs and which would transfer. If you go to the Student Services tab and click on Resources, this will take you to our Student Resources page. Look over all the links listed for there is a lot of valuable information in them. You will also find our online forms for things such as address changes, graduation check requests, placement testing registration, and reinstatement requests. To view upcoming events, click on the Calendar tab. This will show you our current calendar with events listed. If you would like to know more about a specific event, simply click on the link and it will list information such as location and time. To log in to your MyHCC and email account, go to the main Highland website, which is highlandcc.edu. You will see a login button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click it and you'll be asked for your username and password. Your username is always going to be in the format of last name dot first name, for example, smith dot john. If you do not know your password, click on the forgot password link. This is our forgot password function, which allows you to reset your password and get a temporary password sent to your personal email address. However, this function will only work if your personal email address matches what we have already on file for your account. Once you know your username and password, log in. You will see the option to either click on your MyHCC or your email. To view your email, click the email button it will take you to our Office Outlook web access. You are expected to regularly check your email account. This is the way your faculty, advisors, and campus administrators will communicate important information. If this is the first time you are logging into your MyHCC, you will need to verify your account. The information you will need is your Highland ID number, first name, last name, and date of birth. Once you've entered all your information, click Verify Account. To go on to your MyHCC, click Return to Home. This will take you to your MyHCC account. 
If you would like to change your password, click the Change Your Password link at the bottom of the page. Make sure you read all of the requirements to create a valid password. To begin, click the Home tab, then select Find Courses. This will bring you to our section Search. You can search for classes by keywords, course code, period, location, and other specific information to narrow down your search. For example, if you wanted to take a biology course but you didn't know the course code, you could type in biology in the keywords, select which period you would like, and which location you will be at. Then click search. This will bring up a list of classes within your criteria. Once you find the class you would like to add, click the add button to the right of the class listed. Once the class is in your cart, you can either view your cart or proceed to registration, or you can continue to add classes to your cart. Once you have added all the classes you would like to take in your cart, go to the register tab. Click on registration and click on the period for which you would like to register. Once you have all the classes in your cart you would like to take, simply click next to proceed and finalize registration. There are two ways to check your class grades. For classes you are currently in, go to the Classes tab. Then click on Schedule, and right under that, click on Student Schedule. This will bring you to your current student schedule. Your classes will be listed here, with specific information for each, such as time, location, and your instructor. If you are on the wrong semester, simply go over to the Options box and select a different period. If you would like to see your schedule in a grid format, click the grid link. You will notice a link called Go to Course Homepage under most of your classes. This is where your instructor will upload current grades for assignments you submit. Click this link and it will bring up a new page with all that information. To view your unofficial transcript, request a transcript sent to a different school, or to view your final grades for previous semesters, click on the Grades tab. You will see the option to click on your unofficial transcript, to request a transcript, or to see your grade report. To view your unofficial transcript, simply click the link. Your unofficial transcript will be in a printable format and will list every credit hour and every grade you've gotten since you started at Highland Community College. To request an official transcript, simply click the request transcript link and fill out the information. There is currently no fee for requesting an official transcript. To view your grade report, click on the grade report link and select the period for which you'd like to view. This will show you the final grades for each class you took that specific semester and how many points you received. This will also show the term GPA and your overall GPA so far. To view your financial information, go to the Finances tab. Then you can either click on Balance, Statement, or Financial Aid. Currently, if you click on Financial Aid, it will ask you to look under Balance and Statements for your financial aid information. If you click on Balance, you will be able to select which period you would like to view. This will show your tuition amount, any scholarships that will be applied, any refunds, other fees, and your financial aid. If you want a more detailed look, simply click a different view in the Options box and click Change. This will show you a detailed summary of all the charges made to your account. It will also show you a more detailed summary of your financial aid.
To see your statement, click on Statement. Then select which statement date. Click View. And this will show you your statement with line by line charges and your financial aid. To make a payment, go to Balance, go down to the Make a Payment box, select which period you would like to make a payment for, and enter the amount. After you click Make a Payment, a separate window will pop up. Be sure to have any pop-up blockers disabled or this window will not appear. This will ask you again your payment amount and what payment method. Click Continue and you will then be asked to fill in your credit card information, your billing address, and your contact information. Once you click Continue, it will process your transaction. If you are taking online classes and wish to see some information about HTC Online, go to the main Highland website, click on the Locations tab, go down to HTC Online. This will bring you to our HTC Online page and will show you some helpful links. If you do not know what textbooks you need to purchase, go to the Textbooks link. This will take you to a separate web page that you can use to find out which books you might need for each class. To start searching, click Order Your Books. If you plan to order your books from this website, you can either continue and pay with your credit card or PayPal account, or you can click Continue to pay with an institutional voucher or financial aid. If you do not wish to purchase your books from this site, but would still like to look up which books you need, go ahead and click Continue to pay with credit card or PayPal for you will not need to put in that information to look up your books. As you can see, all of our HTC Online courses are listed. To search for your courses you will need, put in your course ID. For example, Art Appreciation, you would put in A101 and click Search. This will bring up the art appreciation courses and will tell you their starting and ending date so you can ensure to select the right one. Select which course you are going to be taking and click continue. This will show you the required textbooks and any other supplies you will need for each class. If you do not wish to purchase from this website, take down all the information including the ISBN number so you can search on other websites to purchase this book. Back on the HCC online webpage, you can also find the link to take you to your online class portal. Just go down and click the course access link. This will take you to hcc.learninghouse.com, which is your online portal for your online classes. To log in, you will go over to the right hand login box, type in your username which is the same as your MyHTC account, your last name, dot first name, and type in your password. Your password, however, is not going to be the same as your MyHTC account. You will be emailed a temporary password 48 hours before your first class starts. That email will be sent to your Highland email account, so be sure to be checking your Highland email account before your online class starts. For any questions or tech support for our hcc.learninghouse.com website, you can go to the Help Center box on the right-hand side and either click on Live Support or this link to access technical support. They are available 24-7 and you can either live chat, email, or call them direct. If you ever have any questions regarding your MyHCC or any other technology questions, you can either go to the Student Services tab and go down to Technical Support, or at the bottom of the main Highland website, you can go under Support and click on Help Desk. 
This will bring you to our student support page. You will see helpful links such as guides for logging into your MyHCC, registering online, making an online payment, how to add your email to your mobile phone, signing up for our Highland Rave Alerts, and our network policies. It is very important to read through our network's policies page for it lists information about your technology within your dorm rooms and our equipment. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to contact us. You can either call at 785-442-6060. Our open hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. If you call any time in between, you can leave a voicemail and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can email us at helpdesk at highlandcc.edu and then be sure to include as much information as possible and be very detailed in the description of the problem. If you call about your MyHCC account, please include your full name, birth date, and student ID if you have it. Or feel free to come by our office anytime in the administration building during our open hours.